65, a huge boost in COVID vaccinations. The Indiana State Health Department reports more than 65,000 Hoosiers received a first, second, or booster dose over the weekend. Hospitalizations are slightly down. Just six fewer Hoosiers are in the hospital with the virus compared to Friday. A free mobile testing and vaccine clinic opens up on Wednesday in Carmel. It will be held at the Jill Perelman Pavilion on 116th Street through Saturday. Hours are noon to 8 each day. You can actually register online for an appointment, but walk-ins will also be accepted. The Hamilton County Health Department does warn that tests are limited in supply, but it's working around the clock to process as many as possible. Moderna could have an Omicron-specific vaccine ready for a review in just a matter of weeks. According to Reuters, Moderna's CEO says the vaccine is being finished up now. Development should start soon, and the company expects to share data with regulators around March. This comes as Moderna also works on a single shot to cover both the flu and COVID. That vaccine is quite some time away, though. Moderna says it won't be ready until the fall of 2023. Well, an advisor to the CDC is calling the agency's new guidance for schools unlikely, unreasonable, and unrealistic. Dr. William Schaffner is an infectious disease expert at Vanderbilt University. He's been a CDC advisor for four decades. Schaffner accuses the CDC of issuing guidance from inside a bubble, saying public health recommendations have to work in the real world. The CDC recently advised schools to cancel high-risk high sports and extracurricular activities or hold them virtually. Schaffner says he worries people will not follow those suggestions. The CDC director defends the agency by saying it prioritized academics over athletics. She also noted that when school guidance is followed, it can be effective.